Hi guys, so let's talk about another HRT interview question today. So in case you don't know about HRT, so I have already told this in my previous video that it is a high frequency trading firm started by X star research employees. It is one of the best. It is one of the top high frequency trading firms at the moment. It is headquartered in United States and it is at par with Jane Student Citadel. It is also one of the highest paying companies in the world. I mean, a fresher or a new grad joining HRT as a software engineer, his compensation can go as high as 600,000 US dollars, which is equivalent to what a staff software engineer makes at a big tech company like Google, Facebook or Amazon. So yeah. Uh, without wasting any time let's jump into the question so someone has actually paste, pasted some of the questions which were asked recently in the online assessment of hrt so let's try to solve one of them so the i mean these questions are present on lead code interview section so the question is i mean this question explains a whole story but i'm going to tell you in brief so you are basically creating a new programming language and you uh, now have to support uh, add this support for the hash map so your hash map should be able to support four types of queries so like first query is insert x comma y so insert x comma y says that you have to insert a mapping a, a key value mapping in your hash map where key is x and value is y get x means that return the value corresponding to the key x add to key x means that you have to basically add the value x to all the keys present in the hash map so you can imagine when you will add this value to when you will add this x to all the keys present in your hash map so your keys in the hash map are going to change right and similarly add to value y is going to add all the this value y to all the values present in the hash map so you have to write like the ideal scenario is that you should be able to support all of these queries in over time okay so there are a few test case as well which i have given so here is a query type array uh, which and yeah the output which you have which you have to return is basically the sum of the result of all the get operations okay so let's see one of the test case which will explain it further so i mean the input is that you have this query type array which in tells you the type of the queries which you are going uh, the queries which uh, will happen on your hash map and this query return array has the values corresponding to each query type okay so first query is insert one two okay so let's see here actually first initially your hash map is empty first query insert one two you will insert a mapping one comma two in your hash map so key one value two second query insert two comma three you inserted another mapping in your hash map where key is this two values three so your hash map looks like this like keys there are two keys in your hash map key one and key two the value for key one is two and value for key two is three and then you are then you receive the query add to value two basically add two to all the values so when you add two to two this value your new value will become four and you add two to to this value your new value become will become five so this is how your updated hash map looks like okay that for key one value is four for key two value five add to key one so now you're going to add one to each key so when you add one to one new q will be two and when you add one to two the new q the new key would be three okay so here your updated hash maps look like this like key two has value four key three has value five get three will return the value corresponding to the uh, key three so the value is five okay so since you had to return all the sum of all the result of the get operation so eventually we'll return the result as five this is another test case and uh, eventually uh, yeah i mean there are here are the input and output constraints so the query type array basically the number of queries which you are going to receive can go up to hundred thousand and the values for the corresponding query can go as high as low as minus one billion to as high as one billion okay now and this is the output which you have to basically give sum of results for all get queries so let's see how we can solve this problem and yeah i mean it's a uh, simple question only so i mean anyone can imagine that inserting and retrieving values from a hash map is one but how do you support add to key and add to value in one time okay i mean a brute force approach can be that whenever you receive an add to key you just update all the keys and whenever you receive add to value you just update all the values right but that is going to take uh, i mean that is going to be linear in time linear in linear in the number of keys I mean, if there are n keys in the hash map, the time complexity for that would be O n, but we want to do it in O one. So let's see how we can do it. Let's actually store some of the variables like this. There is this key offset. I'm going to explain it with an example. So first of all, imagine that there is this key offset variable whose value initially is zero. This is going to track, keep track of all the values, basically all the values which has been added to the key. Okay. I mean, it will basically store the sum of all the add to key operations. You can say this is the result which is your output final output it is also initially zero so if you receive the first query insert one comma two your hash map looks like this now like uh, key one value two you receive another query insert three comma four your new hash map is this 
now you receive the query get three your result would be updated as four right basically result would be now four now let's say you received a query i mean your hash map is still this for value one the keys two oh sorry for value key one value two for key three value four now you receive a query add to key five right so your new hash map would become this i mean all the keys have been in incremented now key one has become six and key three has now become eight right but what we are going to do we are is that we are not going to actually change the hash map instead our hash map will remain the same but instead we'll update our key offset okay so my key offset has now become five now let's see how we can use this information to uh, answer other types of query okay so let's say you receive the next query which is this get eight now you know for in your original or the desired hash map the value for responding to eight was four but the hash map which you have is this key one and key three right so how do you find the key corresponding to this key eight right how do you find the key in your map corresponding to this key eight it's simple you just subtract this key offset from whatever key you have received in the get query okay so your result would be updated as result plus is equal to map of key minus key offset so your key which you have received in received in get query is eight eight minus key offset which was five is three so you go to three and this the value corresponding to three is four right so your now new result would become what it would uh previously your result was four now your new result has become four plus four again eight okay good now let's say you will receive another query six again it is simple to answer that uh, to do the lookup for key six what we are going to do is we are going to look find the key this way in our map six minus key offset that is six minus five one value corresponding to one is two we'll update our result as result plus is equal to two now our result will become 10. now we receive another query which is uh, this insert 12 comma 5 okay so your desired hash map has now become this uh you had six two eight four and you have added new mapping which is 12 to 5 right but this is your desired hash map but your original hash map or the hash map which you are going to store won't look like this whenever you are doing going to insert a key you won't insert the original key but we are going to insert is key minus key offset i mean whatever key we have received in the insert query minus key offset so our, our key offset was what five so we insert 12 minus 5 7 so this mapping has been inserted 7 to 5 so whenever someone asks us to find the value corresponding to 12 that is whenever we get the query get 12 we are going to use this formula right map of key minus key offset so 12 again our key offset was 5 so 12 minus 7 we go to this and we return whatever is the value value corresponding to the result uh, the key 7 so our new result would be updated result would become 10 plus 5 which is now 15 cool so let's see so this is basically how you can support the add to key in just over time okay now coming to how do we support add to value it is going to work similarly so we will have a value offset whenever we receive a insert key comma value we won't insert the original value in our map but we would insert is value minus value offset in our map and whenever we receive a get query we won't return the value corresponding to the value present in our map we would return whatever is value present in our map corresponding to this key plus value offset why we are adding value offset because we had subtracted it while insertion into the map okay and whenever we receive this query that add to value and some value what we are going to do is that we are going to in just increment our value offset by this particular thing so that's how we can support add to key add to value insert and get in over one time let's look at the code actually so the code is here you in hrt uh, question which we have they have given on lead code you have to implement this solution method solution method uh, basically receives two types uh, a vector of string query types and a vector of vector of integers which is basically the value of query corresponding to each query type okay so every data type i'm using here is long long i mean all the numbers are long long because uh, as we know the values in queries can be as low as minus 1 billion to 1 billion so maybe during addition during add to key and add to value when these additions would be done there might be overflow i mean integer overflow so to take care of that i'm using long long everywhere so this is our key offset this is our value offset which is going to 
these two variables are going to track whatever has been added to all the keys and added to all the values till now this is our hash map this is our result which we are going to eventually return everything is initialized to zero right now hash map is empty cool we start iterating over all the queries which we have received this query type is going to denote whether we have received insert get or add to key queries so if we have received received insert query our key would be whatever we received in this queries uh, vector okay so queries i0 so whenever we are handling query type i the key would be queries i0 value would be queries i1 if the query type is insert okay so as i told you during insert our key would be whatever key we have received in insert query minus key offset okay so that's why i'm inserting at the position key minus key offset and uh, and again i'm not inserting the original value i'm inserting the value value minus value offset okay similarly when we receive get query uh, i find what is the key we have received in the query and eventually i update my result as result plus is equal to what is our key our key would be key received in get that is this minus key offset and this is our key we fetch the value corresponding to this key and uh, as i told you that during insertion we are subtracting this value offset so we need to add it back so that's why i'm adding this value offset back and this is how we'll update our result during add to key it's simple we just increment the key offset when we received add to value we just increment the value offset okay if we have received any other type of query we are just logging an error that we received invalid query type so here uh, hrt had given two test cases in that question as we have seen only code so first test case is this and i'm printing the answer here so the answer for this should be five and there is this second test case where we have received two get queries one is this and one is this so the addition of both of these would come out to be six so i already have a sample run of this present uh, here on online gdb i mean i can run it so I, this is the same code which we had and you can see like it is printing five and six and the output was five and six only for the two test cases which they had given let's look at them so this is the first test case actually uh, see the first test case output is 5 and then there is this second test case the output for this is 6 so that's all i had for this particular video thanks you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all next time